Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 11 with our series here. We'll go ahead and start this episode off by spending another culture point that puts us at 80% victory. We'll take a look here. We can see that we've balanced these out even more. Temperature right now is decreasing, but we're almost in the perfect spot, so we're going to stop that. Pressure's decreasing as well. We'll let that go a little bit longer. Oxygen is pretty good where it's at. If anything, we can use a little bit more. And water, actually getting some global cooling, which is making us lose some water, but that'll be all right. We'll just try to make up whatever we lose. That's just because of the temperature that I'm messing with. So actually going into the colonies, where is the cooling plant? So it's right here. And I think the reason I built that was because I was going to work on the eco simulator, which has plus 10 heat. So let's go ahead and get the eco simulator built. What would that actually take to hurry that? Four Genesis points. So we'll confirm that. So that'll actually start increasing the heat a little bit again. So hopefully stopping that global cooling and uh, we'll upgrade the cooling plant there so we can still offset that when the time comes. If I go back into here now, we'll see that. The temperature is now rising and the water is now rising again. Why is it rising so much? Global warming. Okay, there's probably no really good way to balance this clearly. But there's only... 82,000 frozen in ice, if that's correct, so... The global warming should release another 82,000, I guess. Uh, if we keep raising the temperature, but we're not going to let that get too high. We'll, we'll definitely balance that. All right. What else? What else? What else? Obviously, population is doing really good. Um, looking at this, uh, there's nothing else I really need to work on. There was the additional pressure that I was subtracting. And I could probably disable that right now. I don't think I need it just yet. Uh, do I want to leave it running though? I think I'll just disable it. Well, you know, I can leave it. No, I'm going to leave it off just in case. I don't want to leave it running for too long. Okay, I want to go into the satellites here. We got to keep upgrading these whenever we can. It does cost us the money to do it, but... We've got to hit a million so we can get our, another culture point because we're getting close to victory here. So we'll definitely upgrade all of those and we're going to want to upgrade the other ones as well. Like so. Get this one. All right, perfect. So we'll let all that upgrade. That should get us our million, which will get us another culture point. We're not too far off now. Four culture points away. So and we've got the one here. Plus, we'll have one more. So then we got to get two more culture points, which would be just increasing population, essentially, uh, from here on out. We can go back to the biosphere. How are, uh, is this going? Really good, actually. Very healthy. This is also very healthy. We do have got two more terrestrial species ready to go. So we're going to get a plant and an herbivore. So let's start with the plant first and we can't do the herbivore just yet actually because we got to finish the plant so we can do a grass plus two population minute plus 1000 moss shrub we're just going to do grass grass also known as wow our large family of plants characterized by clusters of hollow stems and narrow alternate leaves born in two ranks ranging from long grass to bamboo to various cereal crops like corn wheat rice and barley grasses provide a significant boost to both the local economy and population growth definitely take grass I wouldn't mind having beautiful grass. Even if it lowers the birth rate, we can definitely increase the birth rate by doing a couple different things. I like cash crop. That's pretty neat. Low t water tolerance. Fruit bearing. Uh, flowering gives it a more birth rate. Support required. We can add that gene. And photosynthesis. See, plus one oxygen. We definitely don't want anything that's going to upset our planet. Uh, delicate. 
It's gonna, I like having these crops make us money. Projected health is extremely high, which means I'll have to burn all of the profit. Ooh, that's gonna increase oxygen though, not reset organism. Let's try that again then. Plus two population and the credits. Okay. What was it that I picked that did that? Something beautiful. Oh no, you know what? It's probably just gonna increase oxygen in general because it's grass. It's a plant. Duh. Okay, that'll be fine. We can probably just offset that. Okay, let's take that again then. We'll take the delicate. <clears throat> can I take... That'll give it an additional oxygen, so that'll be two oxygen. If I do the two oxygen, one facility is f minus four oxygen. So if I got two plants, I could offset that. Okay, what is the projected health? See, that's no good. That's way too much projected health. I'm going to have to change this again. I need something that actually is, I think, fruit bearing. Maybe. No. I'll take that. I'll take the flowering. Let's see. I want the beautiful. Maybe. What was the other one I wanted? <clears throat> Maybe, let's see. Maybe a low metabolism? Does that give it a better current health 100%? <clears throat> projected health is 84. That's a little bit better then. I can balance that better. You can balance that a lot better, so we'll do that. Still the two oxygen. Okay, let's confirm the organism. We'll take a look at it. Uh, it says it's going to be, it's in danger, but it's going to go straight to overpopulated, which is probably because of this. So let me do that and see what that gives us. I got to reset the screen. That's the only way. That seems to work. Oop. Oh, wow. Okay. Boy. Under predation. That's why. I need an animal that's going to eat it. Let me put this to negative 70 and see what that does for us. And then we'll have to get a predator for grass. That's a lot better. All right, we're going to create an herbivore next, which is probably going to starve to death. Nope, that's the wrong one. And we'll do a mammal, I guess. Hair, three middle ear toes, mammary gans, adaptable different conditions. Okay. <sighs> Scavenger. I want, obviously. Um, social behavior, pair bonding, manager support require pair bonding. That's a really high projected health. Something that's going to lower. That will lower their projected health. Still pretty high. And it's actually going to offset. 
oxygen by one. Uh, I think I've got the grass giving me an additional oxygen. So, uh, which is fine as long as I can get another animal that'll eat up some oxygen. Okay, these are going to be overpopulated pretty quickly. I've got the, luckily I've got the credits to be able to offset a lot of this so I can really mess with these numbers and get these where they need to be. Okay, that was way too much though, which is fine with me because it's going to save me a lot more money to not have it like that. Okay. We go back to no conservation and see what happens. Okay, still give them an endangered, so all of a sudden they're an issue. And that's probably because they don't have a whole lot of grass. <clears throat> we'll need a carnivore as well, but we're not going to introduce a carnivore until this is dealt with. Ah, damn it. Okay. What is our oxygen at right now? It's fine. These are producing zero. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. Plus one a minute's not gonna break the bank at all. Uh, not even close. All right, well, how are we on money now that I'm kind of doing a lot of that? Okay, we're still plenty good on money. Let me go ahead and research. Oh, we're going to want to go for the Reef Institute. So we'll research that. The Zoological Society, plus 20 pressure, plus uh, minus 20 water. I think I could build... Can I build more automated nurseries? Is that like something I could do versus building it? I'm sure I can. Yeah, so why don't I just build another one of those? That makes it so I don't have to do all that offsetting stuff. Whoa, follow Tyler Genesis on Instagram and get 10 free Genesis points. Well, <clears throat> too bad. Let me double check everything again. So what's going on here? Heat, the eco simulator. So I got to deal with that. Pressure's fine, water. Water's getting a little out of control now because of global warming. And that's mainly because of the heat. The eco simulator, where is this? Okay, because that's giving me plus 10 heat. Where is my... I thought I built something for heat here. That's a sequestration plant. That can be disabled again. Eco simulator, plus 10 heat. Where is... What's here? Okay, I would have been better off just building a bunch of automated nurseries. They can even be upgraded. You know what? I don't even want the other thing, but now I need it until... Because if I get rid of it, I'll lose those two animals, I think. What happens if I disable it? I still seem to be growing. I'm going to definitely disable that. How's that do for my heat now? Okay, it's not growing. How's water? Okay, water's not growing. Let's keep it like that. The planet's perfect where it's at. We just got to work on terrestrial plant support now. I'm really happy with it. And we're doing really good for everything else. So let's just not mess with that anymore. The other stuff can be upgraded and I'd much rather just upgrade that stuff. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those right now. And I think I'm building a, another one. I am. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. We're not worried about getting more aquatic species just yet, but yeah, we'll definitely upgrade those. I find that to be a little bit more useful. 
And so next episode, we'll continue making a couple more different animals. And hopefully by then we'll start seeing a little bit more of a green earth. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, for this here, obviously I want to cut this back because as you can see, <clears throat> we're back to endangered for that. And that's probably because we introduced a predator. Okay, so that's actually affecting this, which is good to know. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take this bad boy, put it to no conservation. I want to see what that does to both species, the plant and the animal. Okay, so that actually doesn't help at all. So I need to, I need to actually bring this health up. Plus 40. And let's see what that does. That's better. It's still under threatened. So... It's going to cost me some credits, but we've got the money. 75, so it's healthy. So with that being that, I'll put it to 72 here. And that should be almost 100. 122. I put that at 79, though. And that's with no conservation. So you know what? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it just like that. It gives me two healthy species. And they're slowly growing. The These guys are actually going to outgrow the grass, but the grass is going to look, grow a little bit quicker. So hopefully they'll do some catching up. And these are nice and healthy. Although, as you can see, these are actually going down. Who would have guessed? So we can actually go ahead. That's a hot word. This is what balancing an ecosystem's like. If anybody was wondering in the game, this is what it's like. Trying to get those biosphere all balanced out. A little bit better, but we actually are going to make up the money right here. That's that's where it works out nice because, yeah, I got to mess with these a little bit, but then that money. Oh, see, now these guys are going to go ramp it. Look at that. So we're actually going to be able to cut that out. So that's good, though. That means we've got to – that means – okay, perfect. We'll leave it at 118%, but that means if that's 118%, this can go down a little bit now. See? So this is where balancing the ecosystem is. So by the time we're all said and done, we actually won't have a whole lot of money invested in balancing. I'm a lot better with that. Now, obviously, these guys, though, they're a little bit more hurting. I'm going to cut this down to 40, and I'm going to invest the money in my herbivore there. Holy crap. That was a quite the jump. All right, I better just leave it. So let's do 45 and then just leave it. Let's not mess with it anymore. Oh, what the heck? Why did it drop so low? 55. Raise an additional 10. I'm not going to touch it after this. Unless it's like really bad. 73. I'm going to leave it. These are 74. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave it both. We're going to see what it looks like when I come back. All right. So we're out of time for this one. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>